Hello everyone, hope you are doing fine. So today we are going to discuss about how to start a career in bioinformatics. So we will discuss the particular chronological order in which you can move to have a good career in bioinformatics. So let's move in with that. So the first and foremost thing is to choose a good college or a degree for bioinformatics okay so before choosing a college you should have a prior knowledge about what are the de degrees provided in this particular field and up to what level you should study so that you can uh, pace your career like this okay so first of all uh, the bachelor's degree provided in bioinformatics ranges from btech to bsc okay that is bachelor of technology and bachelor of sciences okay so you can choose either of uh, them uh, depending on your interest okay followed by if you want to uh, pursue a job so it is not recommended that you do a job after bachelor's okay mostly you should go for masters okay and in masters you have two options that is master of technology mtech and master of sciences that is msc okay post the masters you can opt for a job or or you can go for uh, like further research based or academia in the academia for the academic thing you have to do pursue a phd the phd can be from a private university or a government one so how to proceed with uh, both of them that we will discuss in the further slides okay so first of all you have to do a phd okay if you want to do your research further or you want to be in academics or you want to become a scientist and likewise okay uh, further uh, after the um, phd is done you should go for a postdoc if you want to stay in the academy academic setting okay and you want to be a associate professor or professor later on uh, for a government uh, um, for government of india or any college associated to like uh, government okay so uh, Choosing the right college and course is an important one. So for that purpose, I have listed some of the colleges providing good degree and knowledge based education in bioinformatics and computational biology. The list you can see in this particular slide uh, and uh, not only these colleges are providing the degree, but these are the uh, these are the best ones that I have uh, researched. OK, and uh, like the degrees you can see that uh, bsc bioinformatics btech bioinformatics and the degrees that we have discussed in the previous slide as well okay and for the phd setting you must go for um, uh, government labs like csirs and icmrs and iisas and likewise okay and for mtech uh, you have like delhi technological university then uh, for uh, if you want to pursue a masters in uh, uh, computational biology you should go for triple it delhi okay uh, follow like and for btech bioinformatics you have um, like vit srm srm chennai and for bsc and msc bioinformatics you have ibab bangalore that is also a very good college okay so so you can choose your uh, college according to your location and whatever suits you better you can go and uh, watch about their courses what what all uh, things they are providing and according to that you can choose okay so further moving on to what are the exams to be qualified so that you can get uh, get into this particular colleges okay so before going for the discussion about the exams we should uh, take up a question which is most uh, widely asked that is a faq that is um, how can someone switch uh, to masters in bioinformatics or phd in bioinformatics from different fields of life sciences okay uh, like uh, like they have done a degree in biotechnology botany biochemistry and other fields like genomics and all okay so how can they switch their fields to bioinformatics in masters or in phd so in order to pursue a masters or phd in bioinformatics from good colleges you must uh, qualify national level exams okay so what are those national le level exams so that we will we'll discuss in this particular slide okay so uh, first of all starting up with uh, 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 we are mostly discussing about the bachelors from different field of uh, sciences okay then you have uh, two options left okay 
mainly masters in bioinformatics and then phd in bioinformatics okay and after that you can also do your masters and phd from abroad okay so if you want to pursue a masters in bioinformatics in india so there are two possibilities either you qualify the national level exam to get into good uh, private colleges okay or you can qualify um, gate excel or bt uh, for mtech uh, to pursue mtech uh, from government university or uh, if you want to pursue a, a master of science uh, in bioinformatics uh, from government college you should opt for nest and iit jam so you have to qualify exams like nest and iit jam okay so further um, uh, moving on to if you want to pursue a phd in bioinformatics so for pursuing a phd the exams are more or less the same for every field okay so that is if you want to go for a private university obviously you have to qualify their uh, exams okay the exams conducted by that particular university okay and uh, if you want to go for a, a government university or government lab you want to pursue a phd from so you have to opt for a national eligibility test that is net net excel okay and um, and you can pursue your phd from uh, the likes of uh, ugc csir icmr and dbts likewise okay iiscs and like okay then uh, um, you can also pursue a phd in bioinformatics uh, with a gate score okay if you have a very good gate score you can uh, uh, do your masters from that particular gate score and further that gate score will help you to pursue your phd as well from the iits and nits or iisers okay so after that if you want to like uh, move from the bachelor's field and if you want to pursue your masters and phd from abroad india okay so you have exams like ielts toefl gmat gre okay so you have to qualify um, uh, any one of those okay or uh, sometime two of those are required depending upon the country you are aiming for and uh, where you have got the opportunity to do your masters or phd okay it uh, solely depends on that what exam you have to qualify okay so for so before moving on with the discussion about uh, uh, career options we must know about the top skill sets required in this particular field okay so first one is adaptability as bioinformatics is always uh, growing and uh, revolutionizing day by day and with the upcoming technologies every day now and then so you should adopt and learn about new technologies each and every day so your learning graph should be in a exponential fashion okay so uh, next point is similar to that that is continuous learning okay so you should be in a continuous learning phase so that you don't miss out any opportunity that comes to this particular field and you should always upgrade yourself okay further emphasis on practical skills because bioinformatics is always uh, uh, prioritizing the uh, practical skills over the theoretical knowledge okay further com coming on to the problem solving mindset because uh, as you will be developing new pipelines new databases so you should always have a problem solving mindset so that uh, you can solve any problem or error that comes to uh, comes to your way okay and you can uh, further uh, do your object oriented thing in a streamlined fashion and that particular thing does not hinder your whole process okay further moving on to the uh, data analysis and interpretation skills obviously this uh, skill set is a must have when you are dealing with a uh, field of data science that is uh, bio it uh, field that is bioinformatics or computational biology okay further moving on to uh, like programming languages uh, like most oftenly used programming languages in bioinformatics are r python okay and so you should have a uh, particular uh, hold on uh, python and r uh, because uh, they have a good uh, uh, user interface as well as uh, good uh, um, easy to understand syntax apart from that uh, it is also easy to use uh, than than the other languages because uh, it has a easier syntax further uh, visualization part is also easy in uh, uh, python and r and further moving on to the other fields of bioinformatics dealing with computer aided drug designing so it has also cut short uh, the time of uh, drug discovery process by a fair margin okay further we have genomic data analysis multi omics data analysis then uh, gene expression analysis uh, 
sequence data analysis, uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning integrated uh, softwares and tools for protein production and at every omics level we have different tools and softwares to deal with okay so you must have a skill set that embraces all of the field associated with bioinformatics so that you can build a career on it in a better way okay so so let's discuss about the career opportunities that bioinformatics provides to you okay so first and foremost thing that you should keep in mind uh, to get a good placement in bioinformatics either in uh, india or abroad with a handsome salary package you should have a emphasis on your practical skill more uh, more than your degree or your theoretical knowledge okay because uh, practical skill sets and hands on experience uh, plays a major role in bioinformatics uh, because it is a object oriented field okay so coming on to the career opportunities you can be a bioinformatics analyst uh, researcher or a trainer so you can pursue that particular thing being a freelancer or you can join a university or uh, like uh, any uh, any company uh, which which are providing the same services you can be a bioinformatics analyst or researcher over there uh, as a full time okay and further if you want to go to academic settings you can uh, do a phd and postdoc and being a phd postdoc researcher further after your postdoc you can become a associate professor or assistant professor further moving on to professor you can become a professor further if you want to be a scientist in a private firm you can join that uh, after masters like uh, gaining some experience after masters so you can uh, uh, you can be a scientist in private settings private biopharma companies okay and if you want to be a scientist in uh, like government labs uh, in india so you have to uh, be uh, like uh, in the likes of uh, CSIR, ICMR or IISC AIMS you want to be a scientist in so you should uh, have done your uh, postdoc from uh, some good universities and uh, after that you should have a, a very good experience so that you acquire a good scientific position in the government labs in India okay in order to pursue a career in bioinformatics and to excel in this particular field you should have a upgrading mindset of your skill sets okay so uh, there are platforms and research labs which provide uh, upgradation in your skill set and they will teach you the latest skill set uh, which are there in the market so that you can excel in in this particular field okay so starting off with our own lab that is uh, biotechnica it also provides uh, many a uh, uh, the uh, skill set uh, training programs okay and what you can pursue like you can uh, gain the expertise uh, in this particular field uh, from internships okay hands on workshops handling life projects that uh, that we are also providing and there are some other labs as well that you can search over okay but i will ensure you that we are providing the best education as of now so uh, like what are the advantages you have when you train from our institutes or institutes similar to us okay that uh, first of all is the convenience that uh, you can invest uh, two to three hours of your day not your whole day uh, uh, like two to three hours of your day for a few months and you can learn a new skill set and then you will be provided a certification of that particular thing that adds up to your cv as an experience as well and it will help you in finding jobs and um, getting the jobs easier okay after that uh, we have a updated curriculum every time we are um, uh, having some workshop or we are um, uh, refining on a particular skill set we are always updating the particular curriculum so that you have the best experience okay further uh, we are always focused on the practical skill set and we always provide the hands on training uh, rather than the theoretical so there is a combination of both theoretical you will be provided as well and the hands on practical thing you will be provided so that you can embrace your skills uh, in the job setting okay further uh, th uh, this institutes also have a good connection in the particular field whatever field you are studying in okay so that we can place you in a better way okay so these things are uh, the advantage uh, that you get when you study from 
research labs like us okay so yeah so that is all from my side thank you everyone for your attention and hope to see you in other part of the spectrum and uh, hopefully see you in any one of our classes to upgrade yourself that's all thank you